In this class we will know the tool mesh failure diagnostic, which is very useful in solving problems that occur in the generation stage of the mesh. Let's see and practice how to use it. First we created a new study for this axis. Next, we go to the creation of the mesh, keeping the size of the elements as defined by default. See that the mesh was generated correctly. We edit the settings of the mesh and we will generate a purposeful error, so we can know the tool mesh failure diagnostic. For this, we drastically increase the size of the elements and confirm. Note that the mesh generation is interrupted and a message is displayed informing us that the mesh generation failed for the given feature. Clicking on Mesh Failure Diagnostic, see that the simulation wizard is shown in the task pane. We can select from the list and view the entities that prevented the correct generation of the mesh. To solve this problem we can create local mesh controls or check geometry. In our case, we will cancel the wizard and generate the mesh with the default options, as we know that the error was induced due to the drastic increase in the size of the elements. However, when this type of problem occurs in your projects and simulations, use the aids provided by the wizard, creating local mesh refines, modifying geometry or following another statement available. An alternative way to access the mesh failure diagnostics tool is to right click on mesh and then failure diagnostics. Note that the wizard appears in the task pane, but no body is listed in the box of bodies that failed to generate the mesh. Alright. We conclude this lesson, where we know the tool mesh failure diagnostic, which is useful to help solve problems arising from the inability of simulation to generate a certain mesh for a given model.